Hi, in this video we learn binomial nomenclature and these are the questions I am going to handle in this video. Why we need binomial nomenclature? Who started this binomial nomenclature? And what is binomial nomenclature? With an example, mango, what is its uh, name, scientific name? And what are the rules of uh, binomial nomenclature? These are the questions we are going to see in this video. Why we need uh, binomial nomenclature? As you know, there are around 1.7 to 1.8 million organisms, living organisms identified. Just imagine you call with the different names, Hence local, that is called local names. If some local names also called vernacular names, vernacular names means they are not scientific they vary from place to place they vary from place to place even within a country within a country hence uh, there is a, there is a need to standardize standardize okay so that standardization come with some rules and regulations there are some rules regulations are there that is called a code CODE there are some code kind of thing is there like uh, ICBN International Code of Botan Botanical Nomenclature International Code of uh, geological nomenclature in the previous video I explained what are all these things if you are not watched that video please watch that video so that this is a there is a code there is a system there are rules regulations to name them that is called scientific names they are called scientific names scientific names that scientific name is called uh, binomial nomenclature binomial binomial nomenclature first you need to know what is nomenclature nomenclature is uh, the process of naming a living organism with certain rules and regulations it is a uh, process of naming a living organism with the code rules agenda created by ICBN, ICZN and all those things that is called nomenclature and the binomial nomenclature is given by Carolus Linnaeus But actually is first uh, given by Caspar Bahin. First given by Caspar Bahin. With an example we see, for example if you take uh, mango, if you take mango, I want to use a different color, mango. What is the scientific name? What is the scientific name? Mangifera indica. Mangi Ferra Indica and you need to underline this that is important because we are writing this we are not printing we are writing so you need to underline them okay so what is this Mangi Ferra Indica this is the scientific name this is a scientific name this is a scientific name and we need to keep uh, L here if you want to be very scientific this uh, this actually given by this is called uh, these two words binomial nomenclature is a combination of uh, two words what are those two words two words are uh, epithets 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 the first word is called uh, generic epithet generic epithet 
and the second one is a specific epithet the third l is a that is the scientific scientist name scientist name in abbreviated form abbreviated form okay so what is this is actually called genus g e n u s this is called species and this is a scientist who found that name okay so genus species scientist but by nomenclature first two words this is mangifera indica this is generic epithet this is indica is a specific epithet and this is called genus this is called species and the next important point is uh, see if you see this is starts with capital letter it starts with capital letter and this starts with a small letter that genus name is a uh, capital and the species is a small letter capital letter small letter and this is the capital letter in abbreviated form that is what is binomial nomenclature okay already we have seen the rules there are some rules of uh, um, naming these already we have seen it uh, generally these are in greek or latin and the first word is a uh, capital in the genus and the first letter of the species is the second word that is called second word it is a, it is a small letter and uh, when you are writing you need to underline when you are printing they need to be italicized okay and the uh, scientist name is uh, first letter of the scientific scientist name is abbreviated at the end of the name and these are the like rules what are those rules rules of uh, binomial nomenclature binomial nomenclature what are the rules the first one is uh, they are in greek greek or latin they are either greek or latin and the second one is uh, the second thing is uh, generic names two words combination of two words the first word is genus and the second word is species this is capital capital this is smaller letter this is capital letter this is smaller letter and uh, the third one is uh, when you are uh, printing they need to be italicized italicized when you are handwriting scientific name handwritten they need to be underlined you need to remember this they need to be underlined and it is italicized and the fourth one is uh, name of the scientist name of the authority name of the authority called scientist name of the authority or scientist written at the end and in abbreviated form abbreviated form these are the four rules of binomial nomenclature either greek or latin two words genus capital species smaller letter when it is printed when you are printing the scientific name you need to be italicized when you are handwriting you need to be underlined and the name of the authority scientists who found the name we gave the name written at the end of end of the binomial scientific name in abbreviated form that's what we have seen this 
this is very important so we answered those uh, questions why because uh, there are a huge number 1.7 to 1.8 millions and vernacular names local names no use confusion so who gave this linnaeus actually first given by caspar bohin and what is this it is actually two words one is genus generic and one is a species genus is capital species is smaller example mango mangifera indica mangifera indica and you need to underline this when you are writing because we are writing so the scientific name is genus name and the first letter is capital first letter is a capital yeah here and the second word small letter and these are the rules actually we have already either these are greek or latin the second one is a genus and species genus and species and third one is then it printed italicized and handwritten underlined and scientist name scientific scientific scientist name abbreviated at the end abbreviated at end okay this is these are what for 1 2 3 and 4 we are having okay i hope you understood this is the thing you have to remember of the entire lesson you need to write down this no like a notes and uh, uh, study it again and again so that you will understand easily okay see you in the next video